hey guy, crossbow here. A lot of people been doing an analysis, so I thought, ah, eh, why not? I'll throw my two cents in. So I try to get into the best 4K quality that I could possibly get. And my conclusion, well, there's a few things that I think some people didn't notice. Maybe. When you pick up a weapon, you drop it against an object. The weapon sparks on the impact, as you can see here. All right, and then gun gooses make a return from Halo 5, as seen here in this really, really, like, there's not much gameplay of it, but this is, like, the only clip they have. All right, and the knee hug or ammo count. At the back of the knee hug, you see little dots indicating each needle that fired. On the open market map, there's a chicken. Yep, that's a chicken. Baby mower, baby chicken, don't know, it's a chicken, and it's alive. Don't know if we can kill it, or don't know if we can hurt it, but it's a chicken. Alright, they're destructible objects in Infinite. From looking at the fruit sand disappearing, but that's not the biggest clue. There's a sign up here. As you can see, it says West Market, but in the other footage, the letters are missing, meaning that they can be taken off. The Wraith Gunner now has an active shield while operating the gun on the Wraith. Also, Scorpion turret gunners also have a bit of a, a defensive barrier, like a tiny bit. Very similar to what the Gauss Hog has in Halo Reach. Alright, let's jump into a controversial one. Sprinting with Flag. From what re-watching all the trailers, I realise that the Flag Carrier Sprint is actually very slow. So here's the footage from the 8 minute one. At the intro, a guy walking and the flag carrier sprinting, but the guy who's walking still keeping pace with the flag carrier. So it means that this sprinting animation either is a default movement or sprint is actually really slow. I, I kind of understand why 343 done there because people might get really uh, angry with the flag drop, flag taken, flag drop. So they added a sprint instead of just juggling. So yeah, I, I don't mind it. It's pretty good. I don't think you can use equipment with a flag because you ha you're you holding it with two hands. So I can't imagine equipment being used. But when the flag gets dropped by the enemy, there's a radius. In all Halo games, there wasn't a radius. You stand near it and the little bar goes up. But now there's a radius telling you you have to stand in this circle to recover it. Which I thought was a little neat slice of life feature to know how far or how close you have to be to recover it. Also, I believe the Spartan intros are called presentations. So as you can see here, there are three different types of presentations so there's one on the left with 50 cup the one the red one the wolverine kind of sounds the two on the right are the default spawn from halo 4 and 5 so i think you can unlock these and you have them as presentation that's what i think it is so yeah let's talk about equipment so the new one is called repulsor it can ricochet certain weapons we don't know if it can ricochet like rocket launchers or not, or maybe plasma grenades. But also what the repulsor can do is also do a gravity boost to boost jump yourself. And the other thing I realise is that repulsor can repulse people, as in you can push them back. So in this clip here, the flag carrier has run away, but this guy attempts a new repulsor to push him back like backward because a flag melee you with one hit but he attempted a repulsor but his teammate killed him so that's really interesting all right and then also the grapple hook the grapple hook is very important in this game like you can pick up weapons you can skyjack but from looking at it you might be wondering how far does it go i mean we got we got it going to the ceiling we got it skyjacking but i found a little bit of footage here of a guy in the background who's newsing it quite far away. Yeah, just to be honest, I actually like the grapple hook because in Halo 5, people get camped a lot by Wasp in Warzone. If a Wasp is OP in this game, then the grapple hook, I can say, yes, I want the grapple hook. Also, the grapple hook can be news against people and it does minor damage from the look of this clip. 
threat sonar, you shoot it across the map and it detects people through the walls. In this clip here, it looks like the arc equipment, the, uh, the shock equipment that is in the game. From the very first campaign gameplay trailer, the shock grenade stuns enemies, but from the, from the look of this, this clip here, it looks like it's going to become like a power drain where it absorbs people shields like drains them so in a way it might be a power drain so i've been crespo hopefully you enjoy this video and hopefully you learn something new see you in the next one please subscribe